we hit the 300,000 subscriber mark guys and we wanted to thank y'all so in appreciation for that we are going to do a cash prize giveaway there's going to be five winners winning each $200 y'all can buy $200 worth of merch whatever y'all want guys along with the hoodies we do have the t-shirts oversized same print but yeah guys there's going to be the hats oh and the hats chill i'm all dripped out yeah. chill get everything no wait it's on this side yeah. it's on this side check out the hats guys the t-shirts the hoodies we got all the merch stocked up for y'all so again check it out in the link down below fadedculture.co now back to the details for the giveaway there's gonna be five winners each winning 200 bucks and the way we're gonna choose the winner you're basically gonna have to follow our three instagram pages mine my brothers and the faded culture one they are linked below as well and all you're gonna do is follow them and then come back to this video and comment your Instagram handle. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll randomly on the 12th, I believe. Yeah, the 12th of December, which is this following Sunday. We're gonna go live on here on YouTube and then we're just gonna scroll down and then pick random winners. So best of luck to y'all. And you can enter as many times. The more times you comment your Instagram handle, that's basically one entry. So comment as many times as you want, as long as you are following all three Instagram pages, because we will be verifying that, guys. So make sure that you're following all pages. Comment down below your Instagram handle. And good luck. We are going to mention the winner again this Sunday, guys. So stay tuned. With that said, let's get to this tutorial. <laughs> What's going on, Fader Culture? I'm Adrian Barone, and we're back with another tutorial. Today, we're gonna be breaking down the steps on how to do a bald mid draw fade, and we're gonna go ahead and trim the top with sears. Be sure to stick around because I am gonna break down my process on how to blend in longer hair like this to the fade. With that said, guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, and let's jump right into this tutorial. All right, guys, again, thank y'all so much for helping us hit that 300,000 subscriber milestone, guys. And one thing I wanted to add for the giveaway, you must have either a Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App in order to receive the payment. Now we're gonna start this tutorial using the white side of the comb because his hair is a little bit longer and I wanna make sure I'm not pulling on any tangles. If he has any, just make sure that you are combing according to the cowlick. We're just trying to get the hair to lay in its neutral position. And then we're gonna go ahead and slightly damp it to begin our shear work. And one tip I do have for the water is go ahead and add a drop or two of leave-in conditioner. It's gonna help elongate the moisture of the water and it's gonna give the hair a soft touch. Starting in that front left corner. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up half of the section that I previously cut alongside with the new section and use this as a guideline as I move my way to the opposite side. Very simple guys, very easy technique. Just make sure that you are straightening your fingers as much as possible so you don't clip your knuckles. And go ahead and work your way back in small sections. Again, just grabbing a portion of the previous cut section alongside with the new one as a guideline, guys. And the smaller the sections that you use when you work your way back, the less cross work you're going to have to do. So just keep that in mind. And these shears that I am using, they are Hanzo. Very, very amazing shears. Great company. I highly recommend them, but they are pretty expensive, guys. So I am going to link some affordable shears down below. And those are some that I've used up to this day as well. After every section, just make sure that you are tucking that comb into your left hand, getting it out the way. And to help start connecting that top length to the side, I'm going to go ahead and cut in a vertical position now. Again, just make sure that your fingers are straight. And 
And like I mentioned, guys, make sure you are straightening your fingers. Last thing you want to do is clip those knuckles. Just work your way to the other side. Again, this vertical position is just going to help start connecting that top length to the sides. I know when I first started, I struggled a lot trying to fade into longer lengths like this. We're going to go ahead and redamp the hair slightly and then just come back in and cross check. Cutting any inconsistencies that you see in the hair. Now with my number one and a half guard, we're gonna open the lever completely and we're gonna start debulking. And the reason for debulking is so when we come back in and set our initial guideline, they're as clean and, and as clear as possible. Just go ahead and flick as you approach the top of this. Again, this is just to debulk my rule of thumb is basically just try to stay as low as you possibly can now with no guard we're gonna close the lever completely go ahead and locate his hairline and right at the bottom of it that's where we're gonna begin our fade we're gonna drop it as we approach the back of the ear and yes, my clippers are zero gapped. I will leave a link down in the description below on how we zero gap our clippers, which I think is very crucial. And go ahead and give that video a try, guys. Just stay easy with your guideline. And like I mentioned, just start dropping it as we approach the back of the ear. Make sure that you do keep a small brush on your opposite hand guys and just clean the surface after every few strokes. Double check that you end up at that same temple peak area on the opposite side by viewing him from the front. And still with no guard we're going to open the lever completely and make our second guideline taking it up about a finger's width. Again, just slightly flicking out as we approach the top of these guidelines, trying to stay as soft as possible with them to make sure that it's easy to erase when we start working our way back down. Like I mentioned, it's just about a finger's width. Now with my number one guard, lever still completely open, we're gonna continue the process. Again, about a finger's width, and flicking out as we approach the top of these guidelines. Make sure that you are running them parallel to the one underneath, so your fade is consistent throughout. All right, now with my number two guard, lever still fully open. We're gonna come in this angle out of the head. You wanna make sure that you're not digging too much in as you don't wanna create a faux hawk look.
and notice that my lever stays completely open as I'm setting up the canvas. The only thing that's really changing are the guards, guys. And when it comes to the number two and up, instead of a brush on my opposite hand, I now keep a comb and just recomb the hair in its neutral position. and go over your guidelines as much as you need to guys there's no rush take your time with it all and finally for the last guard i'm gonna go ahead and use a number three like i mentioned lever still completely open do not touch the lever guys and just continue the process and as you can see most of it is already blending to the top not fully but most of it is and it is because we did come in vertically with our shears Like I mentioned, that was the last guard. Now we're gonna go ahead and just use clipper over comb to finish connecting. And if you're new to clipper over comb, I highly suggest that you either put a number one guard on the clipper or just open the lever like I have right here. And it's just basically used as a safety net. So you don't cut more than you need to. right after you cut make sure that you are recombing the hair again you want to lay it in its neutral position as much as possible to make sure that you are cutting consistently and it's pretty much connected but there is a little bit of weight left and here I'm just gonna comb, come back in with my thinning shears over comb pretty much done setting up by now you should have the first guideline that we created with the zero second that we created with the lever open and the third that we created with the number one guard lever open we're gonna start with that one and work our way down using my one and a half guard we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and close that lever just slightly putting it into a three-fourths position basically somewhere in between halfway and fully open and again guys my clippers are zero gap that's why it is doing the job at this 3 fourths position but keep in mind that this is a rule of thumb sometimes I do have to close the lever just slightly or open it just slightly but I always start at that 3 fourths position and hope that you did notice that there was only three guidelines if you were easy enough with that two and three it shouldn't have created any more guidelines and now to attack the second guideline coming down we're going to use our half guard and go ahead and leave that lever in that three-fourths position just keep in mind that this step will create another line right above it but do not take this step any higher as we will come back right now with our one guard and remove that just continue and trust the process guys So like I mentioned, now we're gonna use the number one guard, yet we're still gonna leave the lever in that 3 fourths position and go ahead and attack the faint line that the half guard created. Again guys, all my steps and tools are in the description down below as well in case y'all wanna follow along that way or screenshot them and take them with y'all to the shop.
finally for the last line we're gonna go ahead and use a three-step process starting with the lever closed then we're gonna open it halfway and then we're gonna open it completely we're gonna work at sections at a time because this last line is very tedious as we all know so just go ahead and focus on this side again using that three-step process and taking each of those notches up just slightly Finally, lever fully open. And take note how I am using mainly the corners of the clipper, guys. This is just to ensure that I don't take the fade up any higher, but I do work my way into those dark areas and remove the line. We're pretty much done, fairly simple. Go ahead and repeat that three step process. Now just on the back side. If you're new or not guys, I highly recommend that you always break down the last line into three areas at least. Finally to focus on his right side. Again, lever is completely closed at the moment. And then open it halfway. And finally fully open. We're pretty much done with the fade guys. Now to do any touch up work on dark areas, we're gonna use the half guard and I'm gonna go ahead and put lever play because this is gonna vary from one side of the head to another. And it's basically just go ahead and take a step back or view the haircut from a mirror and just get a broader view where you can see dark areas and go ahead and start erasing those guys. Again, this is just lever play. It's always gonna vary. I do have some clients where I almost never need to do any touch of work, guys. And go ahead and freehand any frizz. But here, as you can see, I'm using my pinky as support so you don't dig in. And this is just to tighten up those details. Now using my trimmer in a forward position to get as closest to the scalp as I possibly can. And yes, my trimmers are zero gapped as well. Go ahead and turn your trimmer around and remove that faint line that that forward position created. And again, guys, there is a video down below on how we zero gap our clippers. I highly suggest you check it out because with any zero gapping, you always want to test them in your forearm to make sure that they are not scratching.
and now go ahead and start removing all the bottom hair and as you can see by using the trimmer in a forward position we do have a faint line that we created and that's just going to be used as a guideline for our electric shaver pretty simple guys now take it all around And another thing I do want to add when it comes to the electric shaver is make sure that you turn it around and use mainly the corners of it when you do approach that faint line. Just to make sure that you don't take the fade up any higher than we need to. And to blend in the beard, I use a three step process backwards. I start with the lever fully open then close it halfway and then close it completely. And finish that off with using the number one guard again in the reverse process starting with the lever completely open halfway and then fully closed. And here just trimming down his mustache hair. always ask your clients what they want to do with their facial hair or eyebrows guys and go ahead and take the initiative of removing any nose or ear hair that they might have here I'm just freehanding any frizz of his facial hair as he did want to leave most of the length and we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the mustache He did want to leave his hairline as natural as possible so we're going to use some spritz to freeze it in a forward down position and while that dries I'm going to go ahead and clean up his mustache area with my electric shaver. Now that that's dry I can go ahead and just kind of clean up his bangs a little bit, clean up that hairline. And just like the edge up when it comes to the neckline, always start in the middle and work your way to one side. And then start in the middle to recalibrate before you work your way to the other side. Using my electric shaver here to get close. And then applying some shave gel. A tip that I do have is go ahead and apply some water after the shave gel just to elongate that life of the gel. Here snapping off the ends of my razor and using my faded culture matte razor of course guys. Link below in the description. And when it comes to shaving you always want to start with the thickest area. In this case it is the mustache just because the blade is at its sharpest of course. Make sure that you are asking them to pull their lip in alongside with you using your opposite hand to help stretch the skin. Go ahead and repeat the process on the opposite side and here we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning up his edge of line. Dust them off as much as you possibly can. Try to get every single hair off of them guys. That way they can go about their day. Here applying a little bit of hair enhancements. And yes, I do dilute mine with water. And we wanted to leave his hair as natural as possible. So instead of applying pomade, we are just applying a little bit of texturizing powder. And just go ahead and work that in with your fingers. And here's the before guys, in case y'all forgot. And here's the after, a bald mid drop fade with sheer work on top guys. 
I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope y'all took something new out of it. As always, hit that thumbs up button if you did learn something. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see y'all on the next one.